Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the first video of Lightning Web Component Development Series. Yes, this series is on Apex Arts and I will be presenting it to you. Okay, in this series you will be having videos related to Lightning Web Component from the basic like how to start and how to carry on your journey in this Lightning Web Component Development part. Okay, so the first video will be, of course, I mean it is going to be the introduction of the Lightning Web Component and if you are expecting some demos and live examples in it so yes you will be having it but not on the first video because like first video is has to be the introduction and we cannot have a demo in the introduction but i will try to you know i will try my best to make it easy to understand for you guys okay so let's start the slideshow okay so the first video is introduction to LWC and uh, here's a little bit introduction about myself so I'm Kapi Batra I'm a Salesforce MVP and founder of blog salesforcepold.com and the YouTube channel of course the Salesforce Pole YouTube channel I'm from Ajmer Rajasthan and currently I'm working as a senior Salesforce consultant so the agenda of this video will be to understand the basics of the lightning web some components so in this video we will be looking forward to advantages of look, uh, using lwc why we are using lightning web components now and what is the difference between aura versus lwc why you should use lightning web components above aura and how you can start your journey in this lightning web component part so let's start with the introduction guys okay First, tell me one thing. When you listen to the word LWC or Lightning Web Component, what comes to your mind? I had few thoughts when I first heard about it. Is it Lightning Fast? Is it related to web technologies because it, it is Lightning Web Component? And is it like an upgraded version of Aura Component? If you're also having same thoughts, then let me tell you, yes, you're right. Lightning Web Component is a new programming model for building Lightning Components. It leveraged the web standard break breakthrough of the last five years and can coexist and interoperate with the original Aura programming model and deliver unparalleled performance. Now you can build Lightning Components using two programming models, Lightning Web Components and the original one, which was Aura, Aura Components. Lightning Web Components are custom HTML elements built using HTML and modern JavaScript. Lightning Web Components and Aura Components can coexist on a single page. To admins and the end user, they both appear as Lightning Component. If you will see the UI, if you will see the output, you won't be able to justify if it is a Lightning Web Component or, or an Aura one. In about definition, you must have noticed the word web standard. So LWC leveraged the web standard of the last few years. But what is a web standard? So web standards are technologies or we can say it is a rule set we can use to develop a web application or we can also say a website. So these are web standards. Now, what are the advantages of using it? Why we are using Lightning Web Component? Why people are talking about it? Why it is trending? So, I have distributed it in four key advantages. There are much more, trust me. But there are four key advantages of using Lightning Web Components. First one is better performance. LWC deliver unparalleled performance, which happens to be its primary advantage. The second one is faster development. LBC enables users to come up with generic components for a seamless performance and reusability. Third one is compatibility across browsers. It supports the most advanced browser technologies and touch events as well. So if you are developing a component for mobile, LWC will be the key for you. The last but not the least is easy learning. In Lightning Web Component, we will be using HTML and JavaScript to develop the component. That means the tasks are more comfortable to do. Right? Now let's talk about 
why we are using Lightning Web Component now. When Salesforce introduced LWC as a developer, my first question was why why we are using LWC when they, when we are already having Aura Component Framework. Well, to understand it, let me take you to the past and introduced 2014 web stack. In 2014, when the Lightning Component Framework launched along with Aura Programming Model, web standards only offer a limited foundation for the full stack that developers need to build large scale web applications. For example, a rendering engine, standard elements, events, and a code language. And code, by code language, I mean ECMAScript file. The key elements, the key elements like a component model, template, module, and shadow DOM are all missing from the web standards. So if you will see in this image, in web standards, we are having ECMAScript 5, events, standard elements, and the basic rendering. Then later on, there was a good transformation of web standards between 2014 to 2019. You can see the template, custom elements and shadow DOM modules. They all are part of the web stack itself. This means the latest web stack is powerful enough to help us create these UI components. We don't need a thick framework layer in between, which could harm our component performance or make it uh, make it little complex to build that's the reason behind introducing the lightning web component framework most of the features of lwc are part of the web stack itself and only a few things depends on the framework now as you can see on this image with the power of the lat latest web stack lwc comes with many different advantages over aura component as follows so in LWC, as I have already told you, we are having better performance. We are having modern web standards compatible with Aura components. We are having faster loading sites now, better security, better testing, and better browser compatibility. And also the ease of development is also there. Now, if you're wondering what is a web stack and ECMAScript, because you must have heard uh, during the definition, so here's a sh short definition for you if you're not aware about the web stack or ECMAScript. So web stack is the collection of a software required for web development. At a minimum, a web stack contains an operating system, a programming language, database software, and a web server. On the other end, the ECMAScript is a single general purpose programming language that is implemented in JavaScript and some other languages. It is the scripting language that formed the basis of browser-based JavaScript and Node.js. So that's why we are using LWC now and that's why it is trending. Now the next question could be, what is going to happen with Aura now? We have been working with Aura component from a long time and we, we love it. We really love Aura components. But what is going to happen with Aura components now? Well. Now you know the power of LWC. Now, what is going to be with Aura component? If you're thinking like, are we going to skip them? Are we not going to use the Aura components now? So the answer is no. It is no because LWC and Aura are perfect match for each other. You can put your LWC and Aura components on the same page and you will not notice any of any difference in the design in the UI because your LWC can talk to your Aura component and your Aura component can also talk to your LWC. You can even include your LWC inside an Aura component where the vice versa is not true because you don't want to include a custom framework inside a generic framework which is an L, which is a LWC component. Aura components and Lightning components can coexist on same page and uh, they also share the same high-level services like Aura components and Lightning Web components. As I told you, can coexist on the same page. Aura component can include Lightning Web components. Aura components and Lightning Web components share the same base Lightning component. Base Lightning components were already implemented as Lightning Web component. And Aura component and Lightning Web component share the same underlying services 
Lightning Data Services, User Interface API, etc. So that's why you know they both work together so good. That's why you know they are the perfect match for each other. Looking at this image, you will notice both LWC and Aura share the same browse, browser events, standard elements, and rendering mechanism. The difference is that Aura was built on ECMAScript 5 and LWC is built on the latest ECMAScript version. Both are sharing the Salesforce essential features like Lightning Locker, Lightning Data Services, and the base components, of course, it is also there. If you are already developing Lightning components with the Aura programming model, you can continue to do so. Your Aura component will continue to work as it is. You can build new component as well with Aura or Lightning Web Component. It is completely up to you. Your Aura and Lightning Web Components can coexist. And of course, they can talk to each other. You can pass data, share events, and much more. Over time, you can consider, or it is, as I said, like it is up to you, you can consider migrating your Aura component to Lightning Web component, starting with the components that would benefit the most from the performance benefit of Lightning Web components. If you are new to developing on Lightning, or if you are starting a new project, we recommend using the Lightning Web component programming model. If you are building something new, then you should definitely go for the Lightning Web Component Programming Model because of its additional benefits over Aura. But if you are already having an Aura component and don't want to migrate, then that is also fine because nobody is forcing you to do so. Both will be looking same on the GUI. But let's suppose if you if you would like to have all the advantages or make your component have better performance, better speed. In that case, you may consider migrating from Aura to Lightning Web Component. Okay, now, if you are new in Lightning Web Component, then you must be thinking how to start the journey in this Lightning Web Component framework or in this Lightning Web Component development thing. So to start the journey, here I have mentioned few steps. For Lightning Web Component, you need, you need an IDE for that. You cannot build your Lightning Web Component using the developer console or i would say the stand away like for aura component maybe you are using a developer console or maybe you are using an ide but for lightning web components you have to use an ide to develop it so for that my recommendation would be to install vs code and set it up for salesforce development for that you can follow set up vs code trailhead module for that so if you'd like to check that module on trailhead then simply you can go to trailhead we will also share the link uh, all the useful links in the description of this video and here you can search for set of vs code okay so here you can see there are a few trails available like set up your workspace and start install developer tools. You can follow this trail mix. Also, you can have this quick start guide, Visual, uh, Visual Studio Code for Salesforce development. These two uh, trails can help you to set up a development environment for Lightning Web Component. The next thing which is going to help you is SLDS, the standard style sheet, the Lightning Design System. For that, we will be using the same style sheet in Aura and Lightning as well. So you can use the same style sheet. So we'll search for it. So this is the site lightningdesignsystem.com. Here we'll be getting all the style sheets related to Lightning Web Components and Aura. Okay. So you can use this lightning design system to build your component and the good thing about is about this thing is that like you can use the same in aura also and another thing i would like to recommend here is to use the component library before you start your build you have to use the component library also so for that uh, let me open it i think this is the link yeah 
because sometimes there could be requirement to build something but there are chances that that the tool already exists as a component in this library and uh, just give me a second i think this was a link so this is the lightning web component library here you can have different different uh, components based on different uh, based on aura and for lwc as well here you can see the lightning and here you you may notice the aura one okay so if you will see the lightning and let's suppose like for for an example if you would like to build a button so you can just simply go to a button and here you will be able to find the code of it like this code belongs to aura and the same way you can have the lightning code as well so if you'll go in lightning and if you'll search for button so you will get the same uh, style sheet for LWC as well, like in LWC we are having the lightning hyphen button here and there are different different style sheets available. So based on these examples, you can choose your component, just copy the code from here and use it on the UI. And also you will be getting the basic JavaScript example here, like what should be, uh, like what is the on-click event of it. So you can have this also from this component library. Another thing I would like to recommend here to complete the Lightning Web Component Trail Mix or on Trailhead. So the Trail Mix is basically a collection of trails that will help you to learn more about Lightning Web Component. So you can complete that Trail Mix as well. And last but not the least, to easy. Uh, easy to understand examples and sample codes for almost all use cases you may follow LWC stack playlist on my YouTube channel which is Salesforce Pole. so here in this playlist I am having around as you can see 82 videos now and trust me I am posting videos here once in a week at least okay and recently I have uh, introduced another series of videos which is like modern javascript development for lightning web components so you may check that as well we will be sharing all the reference and all the links in the description of this videos as well okay so that was the basic of lightning web component okay now let me show you how you can create a component so that is going to be just a basic example how you can create a new component okay so as i said first you need visual studio code so i'm already having all the setup here okay and this is my project we have to create a new project to create a component so here what you can do is you can simply press if you're a mac user then you can have command shift p and if you are a window user then you can have control shift p and here you can just simply put a command create lightning web component you can just have your components name here so let's suppose for this example i'm having my first component or my first LWC maybe so this is this will be the default folder which is going to be in LWC. so as you can see this is my first component here i'm having html javascript and the meta file as well we will be learning uh, about these files in further videos so here you can start creating a component just put some html you can use any html tag here and here that is going to be just the javascript the backend of this lightning web component it is so easy to build like if you're if you are having the basic knowledge of html and javascript trust me you can start your journey in this lightning web component stuff okay so that's it for today guys if you are having any queries then you can leave a comment below uh, i will i will try to revert back as soon as possible and we have we have uh, prepared a series of videos for this lightning web component development series so stay tuned on apex or and i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching